Hi, after learning how to calculate the UPS size, in this video we will learn how to select the battery for your inverter or your UPS. This video might go a little lengthy but be patient because the content I am giving over here is a very premium one, you won't find it free on any way. So let's start. I am Vicky, welcome to you on Vicky Engineer. So in previous video we have learned how to calculate the UPS size. After calculating the UPS size, now we will learn how to select a battery. Also we have previously learned how to calculate the battery size, what is the backup time, how to calculate. Here we will learn how to select a battery from the market. So these are the 6 things, 6 criteria to select a battery. We will go one by one. First is battery type. In battery type there are two types of battery. One is lead acid battery and second is lithium polymer battery. In lead acid battery, there are always two types. One is SLI battery that is stat light ignition and second is the tubular battery. SLI batteries are more commonly used in the vehicle purposes because in this battery, the power density is much more higher than the energy density. In simpler words, this battery can deliver more power for lesser time. Understood? SLI batteries can always deliver more power for lesser time whereas the tubular batteries can deliver lesser power for more times. Secondly is the depth of discharge. Depth of discharge is the thing if we will assume a battery has 100 AH of power and it can deliver 80 AH to us then the, in that case the depth of discharge of that battery will be 80%. So, for three different batteries, there is three different depth of discharge. For SLI batteries, it's 20%. As we discussed before, the SLI battery can deliver more power for lesser time. So, the depth of discharge goes to 20%. In tubular battery, the depth of discharge will be 80% and in the lithium polymer, the depth of discharge will be 70%. Here the lithium polymer battery, it's a already different segment. If you want to know on lithium polymer battery, then do let me know so that I will make a different video. Otherwise the video will be go lengthy. Now we will go for the crucial parts of battery selection. The That is the WH capacity of load, WH capacity of battery and the AH capacity of battery. First, the energy capacity of load. Energy capacity of load is stands for WH of load. WH means the watt hour. WH of load equals to power in watt multiplied by running time. Here power in watt stands for the total power we have calculated either from our load sheet or from our UPS. But this power will be in watt not in UVA. So if you don't know how to calculate your electrical load sheet, I am giving the link in the card button so that you can go through. Also if, if you have some query on UPS, I will also give my UPS uh, explanation link in the card button so that you can always go through. Next is the energy capacity of battery. That is the WH capacity of battery. WH capacity of battery equals to WH capacity of load divided upon the DOD. DOD is the depth of discharge. WH capacity of load as we know we get from here power in watt multiplied by running time and the depth of discharge, discharge we know from here. Whereas the, if the battery is tubular then it's 20% if it's SLI if it's uh, then it's 20%. So next the charging capacity of battery that is the age capacity. AH battery equals to WH of battery divided upon the input voltage of battery. WH of battery we get from here the energy capacity of battery and uh, input voltage of battery. Normally commonly in India the input cap capacity of battery voltage is uh, 12 volt. In some cases if it changes from 12 volt then you have to enter the specific data after knowing that then it's C rating. C rating is basically stands for what 
टाइम वट रनिंग टाइम है बैटरी कैन गिव टू अस इफ द कंटिन्यूस डिस्चार्ज करेंट इज टेन एम पी एंड इट डिस्चार्जेस फॉर टेन आवर्स देन इन दैट केस द सी रेटिंग विल बी टेन दैट इज सी टेन बैटरी सो आई थिंक यू मस्ट हैव क्लैरिटी ऑन दिस टॉपिक्स ऑन दिस क्राइटेरियाज वट क्राइटेरियाज आर नीडेड टू सिलेक्ट अ बैटरी नाउ विल गो फॉर the practical learning session as we go in all our videos so in this learning session we will learn how to select a battery as you see over here in this sheet all formulas are ready so you only have to enter some data in the yellow cells so that you will get here over what is the ah capacity what is the wh capacity and the continuous discharge current c rating as well so let's start Here I have considered 5 kVA is the total load calculated or need to be backed up in kVA, and this came from the UPS calculation sheet. If you don't know how to calculate UPS or not been through our previous video, I am giving the link in the description as well in the card button so you can go through. Second, this is the power factor that is cos phi. We have considered 0.8 over here. If in your area that goes beyond, you can always enter your 0.5, 0.9, or the as it is. Then we get over here is 4000 watt the total load. That is B9. B9 is a kVA multiplied by 0.8. 0.8 is your power factor multiplied by 1000, so that we get over here 4000 watt total load in watt is. And we have considered 0.2. Is a safety factor. The reason behind it is, in some cases, if we will switch on all our equipments at the same time, then th at that time the peak current goes more beyond than the required current or line current. At that time, that will hamper or damage all our you know, equipments, including UPS or anything. So we have considered point two as a safety factor over here. So in addition to the four thousand watt, it goes to four eight double zero watt. Total load in what is now we'll go for whether the current in single phase or three phase. Once you will select three phase over here, the voltage automatically goes to 415 and the current goes to 8.35. Since we have assumed and calculated our load as a single phase load, we will enter for single phase over here so that the voltage goes to 230 and the current goes up to. 26.09 ampere and we have considered one hour is uh, runtime over here so we get over here is energy capacity of load equal to 4800 watt hour as we have learned here calculating the energy capacity of load wh rating of load equals to power in watt multiplied by the running time that is the formula put it over here now we will start the battery section It is the battery input voltage. In maximum cases, the battery input voltage stands 12 watts. So I have considered. You do check before entering your data over here. Then the number of battery. In some cases, if you are making a battery bank or something, in that cases, you always have multiple batteries. Since I only need one battery over here, I have entered one. If you have more battery, then you always enter that. So here we will get the total input voltage then type of battery whether it's a tubular battery or SLI battery if you select SLI over here the depth of discharge goes to 20% but since we have considered the tubular for our purpose it goes to 80% then the energy capacity of battery and it stands for B27 divided upon F17 that is B27 is the energy capacity of load and the F17 is depth of discharge so we get over here 6000 watt hour that is the energy capacity of our battery here comes for the charge capacity that, that stands for Q charge capacity equal to F19 divided upon, upon F13 F19 is our energy capacity of battery divided upon the depth of discharge that comes a 500 h the charging capacity of battery then here we get the continuous discharge current here we consider 26.09 is a continuous discharge current the reason behind that is 
we are calculating a battery for our load current this for this much of 4800 watt watt hour load we are calculating a battery and so we have considered here the load current equals to the continuous discharge current so we get over here is c rating equal to 20 and the, so the battery will be c20 battery and the run time will be a 20 hour run time now we'll go for the conclusion here the conclusion so we will need one number of battery with 500 ah rating with 20 c rating for runtime of 20 r that is we will need a battery of 500 ah rating 20 c and for 20 hours and one more thing to be noticed over here is maximum discharge current must not exceed 30 percent of battery age capacity for longer life of battery what it means is this is the discharge current over here this is 26.09 what this line says us says to us is this 26.9 ampere must not exceed 30 percent of 500 ah capacity 30 percent of ah capacity stands for uh, around 150 ampere in this case we are not exceeding that so i think you must have some clarity on this topic if you have some query or suggestion do let me know in the comment section below so that i can revert you back if you found this session informative please consider subscribe and press the bell icon so that i can reach you faster with this type of contents also i'll request you to join our telegram channel so i can provide you the excel sheets we demonstrate here for your download so that you can use it further for now signing off bye bye see you next